Okay, I have a bucket with probably about three liters of maggots in. Those are leftover maggots from my float fishing session. But today it's very, very windy, so I will go and do some feeder fishing. As you can see, those maggots are still in decent condition, definitely good enough for feeder fishing. So I will put that little tub into my rucksack. I have everything ready, more or less, by the way. So yeah, see you on the bank, guys. As you can see guys, I have chosen a peg which has a big bush to my left and it's very very important. I'm not in the match, I can choose my peg whichever I want and I chose the one which is comfortable to fish at so that bush will protect me from the wind and that's great. Now I can settle in and hopefully we'll catch some fish sitting nicely and not in the wind. Awesome! That's my maggots. Today's plan is really to split my session into two parts. In the first part, I will be building the swim and will be catching anything on like lighter hook links. And then in the second part, I will step up my hook link and hook size and I will be putting more maggots onto the hook, onto the hair actually, hopefully to catch bigger fish like big bream, chub, hopefully a bubble or two as well. Right, I'm more or less ready to go have everything I need. I have my net here. We'll keep it just here. Actually, before I will start fishing, I will grab it off here. But yeah, all I need probably is a disgorger and then I'm ready to go. Okay, we'll grab one of them fine hook links for building up my swim. tiny little hook I will cover guys everything what I'm using a bit later when I will start fishing but now I just want to check out and hopefully catch some fish loop to loop simple and effective no messing about one single maggot bronze one will go onto the tiny hook just like that some of the maggots will go into the feeder Just like that, we'll shut the feeder and that's it, I'm ready to go. Nicely hit the clip. And that's it, we are fishing guys. So that's a three o'clock now four minutes past three so i really have about three hours of fishing until it will get dark so the first hour i will be checking every five minutes so i want to build up the swim more or less i want a little bit of bait in the area where i will be fishing so odd maggot will be drifting downstream and i hope that you know those maggots will attract some fish from downstream and then hopefully I will catch out fish whilst doing that whilst fishing light and chucking every five minutes but then after one hour I will switch to much thicker hook link and then I will chuck and wait probably for 15 or 20 minutes hopefully I will wait for bigger fish then but I will decide 
during that first hour basically that first hour is very very important to gauge or judge how the fish are feeding today obviously it does not matter really whether it will be like five minutes at the start or like six minutes or four minutes as long as you know it's like in the same more or less or applies to the same routine that's perfect you don't have to you know set any like bleeper or beeper which would you know go every five minutes and then reset it just cast out take a note of the time and then after a while just check if it's ready to to recast or if it I just thought that maybe I just had a little tap but no so yeah you just wait a little bit and then check if it's ready to recast again if it's not then wait a little bit longer and if it's more or less the amount you are looking to be fishing or recasting at then you recast obviously as simple as that really you don't need to be super precise So yeah, now I will wait and enjoy out of the wind and hopefully I will see some tip action pretty soon. Oh, first bite. And I missed it. <laughs> New maggot goes on. Oh no, the rain picked up. Some free offerings are going into the feeder. Feeder is shut down. Nice little chuck. Feeder hits the bottom and I'm fishing. Okay, so I will quickly cover two types of feeders I'm using today. Basically, that's a browning window type feeder. Those feeders are brilliant because especially when you will be fishing in the river they will want to stand up and obviously the flow will wash out all the maggots very very quickly i love these feeders also they are brilliant at casting like the distance but today i'm not casting the distance at all i'm probably fishing 20 meters away maybe 25 something like that so but i'm using these feeders just to make sure that my maggots are getting washed out pretty quickly that's a uh, 50 gram by the way just to keep it on the bottom and the next design is corn one uh, also very good design like a method feeder more or less uh, also opens up and closes up very quickly but those are different completely different design as i say they are quite low to the bottom and the maggots will stay in quite long actually compared to these ones so yeah i'm starting with this one and then once I will start hopefully catching bigger fish I will switch to these ones just to make sure that my maggots are staying in a little bit longer. Just had a little knock and I think I'm into the first fish. Very very gentle strike. I think it will be a small roach yay we are off this is exactly what i want guys small fish at the start it just goes to show that my feeding is working and it attracts small roach which is really really what i want lovely fish lovely beautiful condition i will put it into the net quickly right the roach is nicely in in the net will put my landing net as well on top of my keep net just to make sure that roach won't escape just by jumping out and yeah very happy to be off the mark and with a lovely lovely roach so the plan is working perfectly so far i had a couple little bites and uh, i am away that's the most really important bit for me and now hopefully i will get into a nice rhythm new maggot will go on And this bite actually came pretty quickly, probably a couple minutes feeder being in the water, which is really, really great sign. It means that 
hopefully a few fish are competing feeder will be shut down lovely always keep like a towel next to your hand it's very very important to keep your hands as clean as you can I'm ready to go nice little chuck hit the clip feeder is settling and settled and I'm fishing hopefully the next one be very very quick one and maybe from a bigger roach as well wow guys you would not believe what just happened I have a good probably close to a pound roach out how about that <laughs> wow single maggot doing the business okay one final look <laughs> okay <laughs> yes the actually there might be more I'm um, at this point I kind of consider not going for bigger fish later I just might stick it out you know on a single maggot and see how many big roach I can catch but we'll see it's early days so far I believe I had maybe four bites in total and landed a couple of fish so and all those bites were from roach I'm sure of it because you can tell when roach are taking your bait they are like very jerky and aggressive you know very very aggressive fish Right, let's go. Nice and simple. Feeder hits the bottom. And let's wait. Hopefully some more, even bigger roach are to come. At the start I kind of was thinking that it might be a chub. But then when I saw that bright silverish fish on the top, it was clear that it's a roach. I love big roach guys, really, really love them. And the bite was very, very aggressive, just bang, bang, and then it went slack. Little indication. Another one, just take it. They think I'm into another roach. Easy fishing, guys, easy fishing. Came off, can't believe it, came off. It was on it and then at the start, and then at the end, I mean, it just came off. Uh, but it wasn't a big fish. I'm sure of it, it was one of the smaller ones. That's fine. I should I should get another one pretty soon. feeder goes back out lovely we'll wait until my feeder hits the bottom just dead nice little routine I have going on now hopefully they will start competing and I will you know start getting bites like after 60 seconds you know just cast out it settles 20 more seconds and then something will start happening but we'll see we'll see in any case i'm sure that i will catch a couple more fish roach that is on my light rig and it will be a successful couple hours of fishing already 
but I'm sure the bream will come in a little bit later as well. I'm sure of it. And hopefully some chub. I have to say that today's weather is not really settled at all. In an hour I was fishing. Today in this bag I had rain, I had hail, super strong winds. Don't even know what else they might come down on me and now the sun is shining very very unsettled again uh, as the rain stopped it was like probably for five minutes and a relatively heavy one but again as it stopped I'm I'm fine with that an overtake yeah I'm now getting bites regular so quite a few roach moved in nice little fish not as big as the previous one but bigger than the first one that's for sure oh no that's a perch how about that yes wow he's fat he must be ready to to go spawning somewhere wow he's fat guys so yeah species number two he's fat buddy <laughs> beautiful little fish I'm sure it was a roach when I hooked it because it was shaking the head I was sure it was a roach how aggressive he is <laughs> thank you so yeah species number two and I'm sure I will get a couple more species before I will go home as well really feeder fishing is probably the easiest and one of the most effective types of fishing guys you don't have to, you know, to have much skill to catch anything really. As long as you can put something onto your hook, something into your feeder, very, very likely that you will catch something as well. I'm not saying that you will catch as many fish as ringers are catching, but you will catch something, I'm sure of it. Okay, easy fishing guys, easy. Feeder just hits the water, hits the deck, the rod goes down, and I'm fishing. Just lovely. Okay, I will take a minute to talk about the tackle real quick. Basically, I have a rod which is a Drenon method feeder combo at 11 feet. I love this rod. I think it's very, very good. I have three of them. All I did for all these rods replace the first guide from the reel to a bigger one, which is like, which has more or longer legs and it helps with the casting. Then I have a reel, which is Diva TDM, 4,000 size. And on the reel, I have a 0 0.10 braided line. Then I have about meter and a half fluorocarbon of 0 0.30. And the rig is basically I have a twizzled, twizzled loop at the end, probably 10 centimeters of it. And I have a couple of studs just to stop my feeder, little uh, clip to attach my feeder and that's it. And it's safe rig because my feeder can slide up and down. And uh, the hook links I covered already. Uh, at the moment I have my thick one for big fish. Okay, let's check it out and hopefully we'll hook a big fish now. Right, just put that camera onto my head. Now I am on my heavy hook link. That's a 0 0.17, still very small hook. And three hair rigged maggots. Actually, I had a couple bream already when I wasn't filming, but uh, I'm pretty sure that I will get a couple more and won't be surprised if the chub and the bubble will join in as well i'm on like 0 0.17 I, sh I should be able to land anything really obviously with the bubble it it will be probably at least 15 minute fight but but i should be able to get maybe it out little indication i will get a take in a minute i'm sure of it just not too sure how well you can see the tip 
I will try to lean a little bit towards that tip so you will be able to see the tip a little bit better. That rain stopped for now, but I don't think it will be very long until it will pick up again. Come on you fish, just take that bunch of maggots. I'm sure that I have quite a few fish in my in my swim where I was feeding for last 90 minutes or so because now every couple of minutes something is happening I I kind of seeing an indication or something on the tip I really won't be surprised if I will hook a bubble pretty soon so at this point I have three different species in the net as well a roach perch and and bream so if i will get here it is what is it uh, no it was a snag i was thinking it's a bubble but no it was a snag <laughs> so yeah I, I want to get a couple more species Chub and the bubble would be nice. What, what was that? It was quite an aggressive take, but did not connect with the fish. Okay, so not a problem. New set of maggots will go into the water. Hopefully, I will do better next time. Oh no, the train is really picking up. Nice little chuck, hit the clip. Feeder hits the bottom now, beautiful. Let's clean the hands and let's wait for the take. As you can see my tip is not super high for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's windy. If I would have too much line out of the water, the wind would affect the line more than the current. And uh, now my tip is actually very stable. Uh, I was able to pick up those roach bites pretty, pretty easy, really. So because my tip is really, really stable and because it's not too, too much uh, like in the air, really. And the other reason is that it's like in the level with my eyes, I don't have, you know, to be looking up and, you know, uh, kind of <laughs> hurting my neck by doing so now the tip as i say is in my eye level and i can observe it like watching normally which is great very comfortable fishing as you can see the rain picked up again i can't believe the weather today it's so the conditions are so poor so poor Five minutes of sunshine, then hail, heavy winds, rain. Oh, that was aggressive drop, drop back. But that's it. It looked like roach actually it was so or or a chub, but it's, it was very very aggressive. Just don't think it was a bream. Uh, now I won't be able to wait for uh, for very long because there is a chance that all the maggots got stolen, you know. Chub are very good at that, just picking, you know, maggots and stealing them. Even though they are on the hair. Now the rain is getting heavier. I cannot believe the forecast did not say about it at all. I mean, there was supposed to be a rain probably an hour ago, but that was supposed to be it. Wow! Really not happy about it. Just wasn't prepared for it really. For the extra rain. <laughs> right, the sun went down more or less and it's gone pretty cold and the bites actually stopped. I'm getting less indications now so 
very very likely I was I, I was about to say that the bubble moved in but no it will be what is it don't know yet feels like a bream decent bream and it came off at the end cannot believe cannot believe how unlucky so but yeah uh, I was I was considering that bubble moved in and uh, then I got a bite pretty quickly whilst saying that actually so maybe maybe bubble did not move in yet hook is still nice and sharp don't know why why I lost this this fish it might have been a chablet actually Hit the clip, nice little check, and I'm fishing again. Hopefully this time luck will be on my side. Come on you fish, just take that bait of mine. Actually whilst I'm talking or waiting for the bite, I will talk you through my hook links basically i'm not keeping them in on the side tray because they are very light and the wind just would blow them into the water you know and uh, i would have to fish them out okay so i started with this one as you can see i hope you can see it's a 0 0.11 and 50 centimeters in length the hooks are size 20 guru lwg so i started with very small hooks and fine line and as you did see i did catch quite a few small roach and one actually quite nice roach as well then after an hour i switched to 0 0.17 again 50 centimeters in length and here rigged maggots three maggots on these fine or smaller hooks i was using just one single maggot and on these bigger hooks well the hooks are still number 18 so relatively small those are guru i believe pellet waggler they are called so and i have a band on just to put some maggots into that band so these hook links are for big fish really and those were for the start just to catch something you know and to be quick in and out in and out and now i'm using these thick ones and hopefully will hook some bigger fish as well i will show you quickly how to how i here rig my maggots basically i'm using ringers too and then i'm grabbing three maggots kind of bigger ones i will go with two bronze and one red then i will use a tool to extend the band and will slip those maggots into the band it's really like a pellet more or less then you when when pulling out that tool you just want to be extra careful just to not damage the maggots but that's that guys very very basic and my hook bait is perfect now Okay, let's fill the feeder with some bait and hopefully we'll get some fish on pretty soon. So far I'm enjoying the fishing very much. I had probably what 10-15 bites. I have two roach, no three roach, two perch and two bream. So definitely good fishing. Feeder hits the deck and let's wait now. Also, as you can see, I'm using my little towel not just only to clean the hands but also to cover my maggots. Obviously, I don't want the water to get onto the maggots because it would ruin them and uh, not maybe ruin as much, but they would crawl out then when they are wet. They always are capable of crawling out of the box and escape okay fish where are you you know what there is a rainbow i hope you can see it just starting there and going right across pretty cool oh 
obviously I would prefer not to see it and not to be rained on. You know what, whilst I'm waiting for the bite I will run through the like setup, how I set up my peg. I will stand up and will go in detail. As you can see I don't use a feeder arm because it's very windy. I just used my bank stick and my rod is very stable compared to how stable it would be if I would be using like a feeder arm. You can't get any more stable by using a bank stick. That's great. Then I have my chair here and I have like a back arm for my rod just here and I'm using that guru grip uh, grip arm or whatever it's called basically it grips the rod and the rod as you can see can't move really then I have little side tray and I have very important to have like a towel and uh, in this case it serves two purposes to clean my hands and also to cover the maggots from the water so yeah I have a couple feeders disgorger a tool to put my maggots on and then I have my net just here keep net and oh I think I just had a bite but no it did not it did not take fully so yeah I have my keep net for the fish and I have my landing net as well everything is to hand and still I don't have any like seat boxes or anything actually all I have is me I carry it on my shoulder so it's light and simple setup and still very very comfortable in, in my opinion okay let's sit down and continue on fishing come on just take that bunch of maggots something is happening definitely but i will i will have to wait it was a couple of gentle knocks you have to be a little bit more patient believe it or not i have three bream in the net but I did not manage to film any of them, how I actually hooked them and landed them. Something definitely is happening, but I might have some weeds on the line, or maybe not. I will wait a little bit longer. As you can see, I'm not holding my rod, so I would not be too quick on the, on the grabbing the rod. As you can see, I waited long enough and I have a fish on. As you can see, that bream is pulling back. Hopefully I will get this one on camera. Here it is. Fighting nicely. It's mine. probably three pounds or so oh wow he nailed that that hook bait I was saying to you guys that something is happening so that fish obviously he had the hook bait in the mouth for quite a while so and then and then it you know swam away and I saw that the bite and my maggots are still okay I will chuck them back out Definitely good enough for one more fish. I can't, you know, I can't be changing the, the hook bait now. It's very important to to make the most of it whilst the bream are in the in the area, you know. Soon they will be gone, and uh, then I will be able to, you know, to mess about. But now I have to be sure that I'm catching as many of them as I can and quickly as well. the same area nice little chuck hit the clip my feeder is settling settling and settled and we are fishing and i won't be surprised guys if like in next next really minute i will get a take again wow what is happening mostly on the river when you have a bream on it just like proper bang and that's it N now it stopped nothing is happening more or less
Come on, Mr. Bream, just take that hook bait, please. Stop messing about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was almost sure that it will go, but no. Couple more little indications. Another one. Yeah, now I think I'm in. Finally waited long enough and I have that slab. They are pulling in this river, wow. Wow, they are pulling. Cannot believe the bream are pulling so hard. As you can see guys, with bream you have to be patient more or less. You have to wait until they will, you know, properly take the, the hook bait. Otherwise you might strike too early and, you know, fall hook the fish or just hook in bad place and then lose it in the end. Wow banging properly nice lab please don't come off it's mine not bad at all not bad at all Again, decent slab. Easy for four pounds. We'll use my discorger just to unhook it easier because the hook is quite small. That's it. Slab a da ba doo. Okay, now I have to put a bunch of new maggots on and hopefully repeat the process again. Okay, that will do. Nice little chuck in the same area. Feed a settling and just hit the deck. Awesome. And now let's wait for the take. little indication straight away another one I think some bream is milling around my feeder hopefully it will find my hook bait soon as you can see the wind is not giving up at all Actually, it is a little bit. Now it's less windy, but it's much colder as well when the sun is, you know, behind the horizon and not shining on me anymore. And the train is annoying as well. Oh no, the rain is really starting to go down properly on me now. Another indication. Okay, we'll have to wait a little bit longer. I hope you can see that tip, guys. It's like yellowish bit in, in that kind of gray-ish <laughs> background of those bushes on the other side. Come on, you fish, just take that hook bait. Please, just take that hook bait properly. Yeah, I think I'm in. No, 
that was strange that was such an aggressive bang but no the hook bait is still all right i will fill up my feeder and will chuck it back out still i have a couple minutes left but the train is definitely starting to go down properly on me guys that will do nice little chuck same area same spot feeder just hit the deck and I'm fishing again will cover up my maggots from that rain wow that rain is annoying guys it's so annoying That's aggressive take, come on fish. That was, ooh, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> uh, might be, might be a chublet. How it's banging the head. And then like pulled back properly, might be a chublet. Don't know what you can see guys. Probably I have some rain or water on the lens. The conditions are not really that good. It definitely feels different taking the line as well. Definitely banging more than the bream would. But that was aggressive take. It might be, I don't know, might be a bigger bream or, or a chub, don't know really guys yet. Just pulling it out gently. Definitely feels like a bigger fish. Wow, that wind is blowing all over the place. Oh no. Probably it will be just bigger bream, I guess. Now, yeah, it feels like a bream now. Ah, no, that's a chublet. Nice chub, actually. Please don't come off will grab my net decent job actually got him yes yeah very nice probably oh yeah probably i don't know six pounds i would say maybe five six pounds will hook just nicely here beautiful yeah nice fish awesome okay go into the net mr chopster probably i will dare to check once more even though it's raining and i'm losing the light as well oh wow guys i have decent decent net of fish really i have six or seven bream decent ones as well like for example like this one Obviously, they will be quite wriggly. I will try to show just one of them, just like that. How about that? Couple hours of fishing, just a little bit of maggots and that's that. Then there is that big roach. Actually, I will show the chub and then I will have to get back those bream because they are they are quite wriggly and and they have some smaller fish in the net that's a big chub as well might be actually over six pounds guys how about that on the feeder so yeah now i want to show you that roach quickly if i will be able to see it Here it is. Nice big river roach. Awesome. Okay, uh, I'm putting the bream back. Right, the bream are safely back. And now I want to see how heavy that chub is. I have my scales here. We'll quickly zero the scales. We'll put that Mr. Chub 
into the sling. Scale settled. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Two kilos, 660. So I think it will be over six pounds, guys. One final look. Impressive fish, really. And then I will quickly see how heavy the roach is. Just want to see if it's over a pound or not. Again, the same procedure. Zero the scales. Okay, even though it was difficult to weigh that roach, but it went 810 grams, so it's it's pound and a half more or less. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit bigger than I uh, I was expecting. So all in all, two very big fish. In a couple hours of fishing, really, really enjoyed it. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.